What do Harry Potter, Downton Abbey, Elizabeth featuring Kate Blanchett, and The Hollow Crown, The War of the Roses have in common? Well, they were all filmed here at Annick Castle. We'll be focusing on these movies and TV shows, but do keep in mind that over 40 movies and TV shows were filmed at this castle, including The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Transformers The Last Night, Beckett the 1964 movie, Star Trek The Next Generation from 1993, and Robin Hood Prince of Thieves featuring Kevin Costner from 1991, Hi, this is Veronica from History Victorum. Join us as we visit Annick Castle and explore it as a filming location. As you can see, the estate has beautiful views and that is probably the reason that Downton Abbey used this location. The castle stood in for Brancaster Castle. They had filmed a shooting party here along with picnics and a stroll that you may have noticed from season five, the final episode. The movie Elizabeth also used the outside of the castle for a battle scene where English armies were sent to Scotland to fight Mary of Guise. And you may remember this scene where Mary of Guise stops a boy from being killed and provides him with the French flag to return to Elizabeth. Outside of the main entrance to the castle, the Harry Potter movies used this green grass area and the trees as the entrance to the Forbidden Forest. Hagrid's hat is actually there on the green grass with the Forbidden Forest just behind it. Here is the Lion Archway, which was used in Harry Potter as the main entrance into Hogwarts. You may remember a scene where Hagrid drags a Christmas tree to the Great Hall and he walks first through this archway. It was also used in the Hollow Crown where Joan of Arc's castle is besieged by the English who break down the entry into this archway. This inner bailey area has been used in several movies. It was used in the second Harry Potter movie where the Whomping Willow catches Ron's flying car. That whole entire scene that takes place at night with them being thrown out of the car after the car gets loose from the Whomping Willow all takes place right here. And the car actually goes out the Lion Archway towards Hagrid's Hut and into the Forbidden Forest. It was also used in one of the early scenes in the movie Elizabeth where you have a village and the condemned Protestants are then burned at the stake. This walkway here is where Edith and her father in Downton Abbey's final TV episode have a long discussion regarding her options considering her engagement As we walk here into the small central courtyard, we have several different movies and TV shows that were filmed here. Harry Potter used this in the first movie where Ron makes fun of Hermione and she overhears him, walks through these archways and then back out to where we came in. Hollow Crown, after the English break through into the castle, they come into this section and they actually start to attack the peasants and anyone they find here. After they have taken Joan of Arc and they have condemned her to death, this is actually the same area where they burn her at the stake. It was also used for Downton Abbey as the main entrance into the staterooms of Brancaster Castle.
Now, heading back out from the courtyard and keep, we will head over through the middle gatehouse to the outer bailey. Just outside the outer gatehouse is where, in the first Harry Potter movie, where the flying lesson scenes took place. And you'll notice up at the top there aren't any statues. The statues in the movie were placed there so that then we could have the scene where Neville flies through the outer gatehouse, comes back up, and then falls down. This is also where Oliver Wood teaches Harry all about Quidditch. In season 5 of Downton Abbey in the final episode, the way that the car came into Brancaster Castle was through the line arch which we first came through, then comes out through the outer gatehouse, drives through this outer bailey, and then ends up in the courtyard by the keep to deliver the Crawleys to Brancaster Castle. If you do get the chance to visit Annick Castle, they offer a filming tour, broomstick flying lessons, and a Downton Abbey exhibit. And if you haven't had a chance to learn about the history of Annick Castle, feel free to watch our Annick Castle history video. Thank you for joining History Victorum as we explored Annick Castle as a filming location, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.